A warm welcome for the former president in Umlaz's J section. Zuma, who earlier announced that he was making himself available to be elected as chairperson of the ANC, made no mention of his own aspirations. He has, however, expressed concern that the party suffered a lot of damage during the 2017 National Elective Conference, where he said seven members of the ANC contested for the position of president. He says this weakens the ANC and the leadership, and he called on the party to address the issue. We have also witnessed foreign tendencies in the manner in which the leadership contest was conducted and that has also not been discussed. That is a major issue for the ANC and its revival and strength <clears throat> and needs to be prioritized for discussions in the coming conference. At Nazareth in 2017, it was not, it was for the first time <clears throat> that we had huge sums of money being used to buy delegates to vote in a particular way. <clears throat> there were clear allegations made that Cyril Ramaphosa who was contesting the presidency, used a lot of money to buy his position as president of the ANC. He also called for the party's policy resolutions and decisions to be implemented. And he said that failure to do this was not even discussed by the leadership. The month of December 2022, is yet another critical milestone <clears throat> for the country and the ANC as the, as the organization <clears throat> will be indeed holding its conference <clears throat> in December. The conference surges Closer, several matters are still up for discussion with regards to the type of ANC that must emerge and the issues that require urgent attention to ensure the revival of our beloved movement. He also added that the time has come for the ANC to correct the way it was being run and that the party should renew its focus on liberating the millions of marginalized South Africans. The presidency could not be reached for comment. Londe Khatib, SAPC News, Umlazi.